And there we have that opening bell coming up on Wall Street. American Express ringing that bell, reminding everyone to whip out that plastic and buy lots of toys for your children. American Express ringing that opening bell. What will be a holiday-shortened trading session? We've been seeing some mixed action all morning long as uh, really the await uh, Jared, some of these Black Friday numbers that are starting to come in. Adobe out this morning, really uh, suggesting that online sales have uh, really been weak so far. Kind of dovetails from uh, with what you heard from retailers when they reported earnings a couple weeks ago, but still lots to digest here, even on this shortened session. Yeah, that's right. Let's take a look at some of the early action here. We got the Dow. That is up uh, 42 points or 12 basis points. Uh, really don't have much going on there. NASDAQ, that's down, let's see, about half a percent. And the S&P 500, that's down four basis points. Now, let me get to a picture of the S&P 500 on a three-month basis. And we can see this is right bumping up against a prior resistance point, uh, 4,000, 4,050, huge level here. If we could break above, probably get some momentum. Uh, I was going over some of the seasonality stats. I uh, might have a minute to share some of those. Uh, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving into the second trading day of the new year, that's 2023, um, that is an incredible seasonally bullish play. And it looks like I do have Oh, I, there we go. I have the November seasonality right here. Lots of squiggly lines here, but this is the middle of November. We've already passed that. This is what usually happens into the end of the month. And then we get some bullish tailwinds in December, as well as people just kind of calm down uh, from their holiday uh, buying stints here. Jared, yeah, was that guy's name Alf? That was, that was his Twitter handle? I, yes, uh, Alf, Macro Alf. Uh, this is a separate uh, subject, but I've been quoting him a lot. Did a Yahoo Finance Uncut with him recently. Okay. Uh, he has a super broad knowledge. Uh, he's a former macro trader, hedge fund guy, and he shares all of his knowledge with the public. It's a, it's a rare thing, so I appreciate these things when these guys come along and kind of spill the beans on their industry. Well, cool handle. I mean, I thought Alf. I was thinking of the you know, 80s iconic uh, stuff, which it, I had in the show. It, was just it kills me. Love. Oh, I <laughs> saw you. All right, there we go. I used all to watch right. that show all the time.